What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. In today's video, I wanna clarify exactly what I mean when I say that you should start a squat by breaking at the knees. This is the second step in my How to Squat with Perfect Form video and I've been getting some questions in the comments section from people who are a bit confused on exactly what I'm trying to communicate. See, when I say to initiate the lift by breaking at the knees, I don't mean to actually isolate knee flexion, rather to just focus on allowing your knees to come forward and then your hips should naturally come backwards as well simultaneously so that you remain in balance, so your bar path is straight. Because if you just bend at the knees alone, then the bar will come forward and you'll come forward onto your toes. And why I want you to start the lift with allowing your knees to travel forward is so that you can remain fairly upright, load your quads, and keep your core tight as you essentially create a pocket for which you can then sit into. As far as how far your knees come forward, that really depends on the depth you're trying to hit and your body type, your structure. I get a lot of questions from people asking me, aren't you just supposed to focus on using your hips rather than loading your knees? And the truth is, if you're performing a deep, high bar, Olympic back squat, it's just going to be a quad dominant movement. There's no other way around it. If you try to make this a posterior chain lift, it's essentially going to turn into a very ugly good morning. And I believe that this is why so many people struggle to hit depth, because they're trying to put themselves in an unrealistic position. They're essentially trying to maintain vertical shins and just sit back and that really usually is not going to work for a raw squatter. It may work for a very wide stance equipped lifter, but it's just very hard to do if you're squatting without any gear because you just have to use your quads. You have to allow your knees to come forward. For my last point, I want to address the idea of, well, shouldn't you just focus on sitting back in the low bar squat? And it is true that in my How to Squat with Perfect Form video is addressing a deep high bar back squat. However, for the low bar squat, this is where it gets a bit trickier because some people do focus on just sitting their hips back and then allowing their knees to come forward after they sit their hips back. And that is possible because in a low bar squat you are leaning more forward and you're focusing a bit more on hip extension rather than knee extension. However, I believe that it's a bit of a misconception to assume that the low bar squat is a posterior chain lift. I believe that's still going to be a quad dominant movement for most people if they are hitting proper depth. However, as I said, it does depend on your build and your structure and just what you are trying to accomplish. I would say if you're a power lifter, low bar squatting, then you may want to consider just whatever is your strongest position. However, if you are an athlete, regardless of the squat style, I personally suggest that you do make it a quad dominant lift and then focus on the deadlifts to train your posterior chain. All right, guys, I hope this video helped. Make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace.